For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. The Jawaharlal Nehru University of New Delhi, India, founded in 1969, has historically stood out for its radical student activism and academic quality. For the very same reason, however, the university is now facing an unprecedented attack from the country's far-right government through repressive measures like slapping sedition charges against student activists, tampering with the university's progressive admission policy, fee hike and attempts at altering the general character of the campus space. Most recent in its efforts to curb campus democracy is the university's forceful removal of its vibrant graffiti, a significant part of JNU's political, academic and pedagogic discourse since years. These posters, present across the campus, speak of the numerous people's struggles from across the world and stand testimony to the campus's radical character. True to its recent history of fighting state repression, JNU students refuse to bow down to the administration's flawed narrative of a clean campus. On Tuesday, July 23rd, students from across the progressive political spectrum joined in protest at the university and pasted handwritten posters on its walls, reiterating revolutionary Uruguayan writer Eduardo Galeano's words that the walls are the publishers of the poor. JNU admin has come out with a notice saying that you cannot paste poster on the walls of JNU and this is against the ethos of JNU and culture of JNU and that's why we are protesting it and pasting uh, our posters again. Posters and parchas and ri wall writings have always been a very integral part of JNU. It's a part of the JNU culture and all these posters they don't give out one single message, they don't give out one single idea, but these uh, posters are from different organizations which uh, believe in different politics, which practice different politics and there's always this space where we can exchange ideas even if we differ from each other, there's this space where we can sit and discuss and through our art we can express our uh, various ideas and later on we can uh, have a political discussion on it. That has always been a part of JNU and that, that is what JNU is known for. This processes of pasting posters in JNU, it, it was like a, it, it had healthy competition, a competition among the different organizations. Whole summer, students used to spend more than 15 days to a month sitting down, uh, making out where they want to paste the posters, find out, find out the spaces, uh, then uh, take the dimensions of that then sit for 15-20 days researching on uh, which po photograph and which statement to be used, drawing them on the papers, then pa uh, pr printing those papers, drawing them and making those posters and it used to be like fun where every organization, all the uh, different uh, students from different organizations used to go around pasting those posters. Before the new students come in, every year the posters on the walls change. Every year they change and they reflect the political exigencies of that year. And now what the administration has done is they they have removed all these posters in the name of cleaning the walls and um, etc. So uh, obviously, which is which is not just uh, the their intention is to uh, curb down any space that we have to express our politics, to express our opinion. And in uh, protest against that, yesterday JNUSU held a mass poster making. Uh, activity where students came from all across schools. We had poster making here outside the School of Social Sciences, we had poster making outside the School of Languages and School of International Studies and today we went out for a march uh, and we are pasting these same posters on the walls from where they have been taken down. If you will see from 2016 the administration has come with so many draconian measures in which JS cash was scrapped, reservation was scuttled and now this circular of, of, of putting down the wall graffitis is one more attempt to, to destroy JNU. To, to, to conquer a territory which is portrayed as anti-national in the mainstream media as well as from everywhere. So this is the main reason because they want to, they want to uh, give death to that JNU, for which JNU is known. When the first Vice Chancellor of JNU, Partha Sarthi, was asked that why people, uh, students are posting posters on the walls of JNU, he said that this is a university inside a democracy, we, we, the, in, India is a democracy and therefore the ca campus will be democratic and let the walls speak for the students and whatever message we want to give to the students is pasted on the walls of JNU. It's very important that we express our politics not just uh, through movements, of course through movements, but also through art and 
and that is something we are not going to let go we know that we will speak against all this because what this is what jnu stands for from last 3 years we have fighted against this vc against his illegal finance and all that both politically as well as legally and in this time also we are ready to take this battle and we are not bothering about the vc and about his finance fine raj and all that and if he will come with such kind of a draconian step on us we will take that battle uh, politically and we will fight that also